Hi and welcome to Advanced Tic Tac Tool Tutorial Developed Using Python. Let me show you guys how this works. Just like any other typical Tic Tac Tool, or if you like, you can call it Not and Crosses. There, that's the winning thing. X. So we can reset and just maybe try to find a winner again. There we go. We have one one draw and um, let's assume yeah and we can even start a new game entirely okay there we go so what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to take you straight into Python development environment and we put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. And there guys, let's start by importing as follows. I'm going to import Tikin to itself dot message because I'm going to be using message box there. Now the next thing that I will be importing is going to be Tikinta. And this time around, I want you to import all. There we go. Now I'm going to start by defining my root equals tk and enter my gradient, the, uh, the title and the background. Okay, I'll just use this as my opportunity to run it up there. There we go. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is I'm going to define my that would be for my frame so I'm going to say frame so that's the widget frame is going to be resident inside the root file itself and the background color I'm going to make that cadet blue so let's just copy that and dump it there there we go comma and get a y axis padded and the width this time around I'm going to make that 1350 why the height is going to be approximately and we make that about 100 and let's get it relieved equals raised or rigid okay we make that rigid there and tops itself dot grid that would be on row equals zero and the column would be zero as well equals zero close that right I've just defined one of my frames that I intend to use I'm just gonna copy this one around and change things around there There we go, that will be for my main frame. So let's just call that main frame. There we go. And the main frame is going to be right underneath. So here is going to be one. There. So the upper frame, zero. That's row zero. And the next frame underneath is one. Okay, in the case of these, I can even let's make the back color powdered blue right now let's see what about the width I'm gonna leave the width as that and just change this one to about 600 okay now you see this top frame let's enter a title the LBL title so that will be a label equals label and that label is going to be right inside tops and right there okay that's my title there is going to be advanced tic tac to game so the other thing I want to do now is create more frames so let's come down here let's speed that up more frames so let's save it and try it out anyway so I'm just going to call it advanced tic-tac-toe to save that 
and let's run it and see how it's going to look like there we go alright that's how my frame looks the left frame the right frame and the top and the bottom frame there we go there they are so have a good look at those if you want to use frames for yours now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just define my variables so player x I'm going to say equals integer and player 0 equals integer as well okay in the case of both two both players I'm going to then just assign set the value to zero dot set equals zero so let's just get that out of the way there make sure that it's saved okay the next thing I like to do now I will create a button let's call this very button one let's come right here and the widget is going to be button widget okay button widget is going to be right inside frame left frame and comma the text value is going to be nothing comma what about the font let's change the font to I'm just going to make that time times that will be 26 bold let's close that then the height make that 3 comma the width is going to be 8 equals 8 and BG with, for the background color let's go for games borrow so I'm just going to close that and let's say button 1 dot grid is going to be inside row one equals one comma and the column is zero unless it's strictly equals south not east and west yeah I don't think I need to do this but I'm just gonna leave it all right let's see column wrong spelling let's get that correct this an N missing there right what else do I need to do I'm just gonna save it let's see how that's gonna look like we can just copy and paste let's see what error oh let's see that wrong spelling there's an s missing there run that now okay i have my very first button close that and guess what i need eight more so i'm gonna copy that So I have six and I need another three. There. So all I'm just going to do now is just to change the numbers around. This is two, two, three, three, four, four, and so on. All right. So we now need to just change the column. So this one is going to be row number two two and two because we are four five six okay this one will be zero one and two 
and this one be three should have started with this with zero but it's okay now run it let's see there we go those are my buttons in place good now let's populate these two frames right okay to add the label so what I'm going to do first is let me just copy this and just change it around there we go and come right down here and just pick things up right underneath here where underneath where my variable is there we go and I might as well just let's declare a variable here that I'm gonna call button right okay so that is my first label the second one let's copy and paste that is that here and this is going to be for players player O and that is this one will be one right change this one yeah, let's save that and run it and see how that's going to look like. There we go. Now, let's add text widget or entry widget as it's called. Okay. So underneath here, I'm going to enter my first entry widget. And let's run that and see. There. Okay, I'm going to enter another entry widget. If you are wondering the variable, that's the variable that I'm calling here. That is it right here. X is there. So I'm going to copy that and let's paste that in there for the second one. And this is going to be one. One, one. Okay. And this is going to be. O. This is O as well. Now let's run that and see. There. Okay, let's add two buttons here. I can even copy these buttons and just change things around. Paste and this is going to be, I think it's two, right two, yeah that scroll right down here paste and paste one this will be zero and that's one and this is going to be as a btn reset yeah and the name on it will be reset Okay, the next one is going to be new game, BTN new game, right, okay, and let's change the text content here to new game, right. Okay, so let's make this maybe about 10 or 10, something like that. We can always enhance that anyway and get rid of this. Alright, save and run. Yeah, whoa, no, this should be, okay, let's correct that that is and this is let's see again 
all right so I just need to extend that maybe about 20 something like that or maybe 21 I don't know let's see yeah we're getting there okay I have enhanced the look of my buttons that's how it looks right so let's run it now let's run that and see there we go that is much better so there's nothing happening yet okay first thing first now let's add a function that very function i would like to be able to click on any of these buttons and get an x or a zero there so right there so i'm just going to call that button so right here let's say function let's say buttons instead of button function button so let's say let's define a checker and this checker is going to be looking at all of those buttons entire column did so I'm also going to define a global variable here this very global variable I'll call it click and that same global variable let's say the value on it now is equals true say equals true there we go and then let's use an if statement to validate one or two things if buttons if buttons is let's say text equals equals there and and click equals equals true then what so in that case let's close this first we then want button but ins text equals x paste that there let's get rid of that that be equals x uppercase there we go and click in this case will be false right that's my very first one I can just copy this and use else if else if this is zero then this becomes true there now all that is left for us to do is to use this button to validate selection made so let's come right here come straight to the button and enter a comma and I'm just going to say command equals lambda and that is checker and in that case we're checking to see what we have inside button one close that there so this checker that I'm referring to is my method that I have here okay so let's run that and see if it works then we just be down yeah that's fine now come right here just copy that copy paste it here for this other one and just change this to two number three change that to three okay let's run it and see how those ones are going to look like oh let's see we need to change something there yeah up here we need to change this one to force right okay now let's try it out again That's fine. 
okay so that's working how I want so I'm just gonna speed that up now let's copy and paste that around there. okay all done so I'm going to just try it out and see how it's gonna look like there we go guys that's fine now reset we need to do something about the reset and new game let's come right here let's create another function right underneath here now the very first function I'm going to create is going to be for my reset and I'll just call that button one for button one there will be nothing in it let's see yeah okay button one nothing and the text value is zero for button one and here is nothing equals nothing there we go that's for button one yeah so all I'm just going to do now is copy and change the numbers around. Copy and change it around. I need nine of those. And just feeling lazy. There we go. I have nine. Just going to change the values around now. That's two, three, and so on. And so on. Okay, that is that done. The other thing I want to do is to reconfigure the color so let's copy that paste that in there and just highlight all of that and say dot configure and that will be background color equals games borrow yeah. that is the very first one configured okay I guess the spelling is right this time yeah so all I'm just gonna do is copy and paste for the others so that's my resets working the reason why I'm resetting the color is because I intend to apply some colors onto it now let's create another function this other function is going to be for new game entirely in the case of the new game i'm going to call reset function that is right up there this i'm calling that very function get it indented first then i'm going to set this player those two players just set their value to zero and that's it that's that's taken care of paste that there there we go now we need to call one two enter colon there so let's come right down here where we have their buttons new buttons so that's going to be reset button will be command equals reset command equals reset there that's the reset taken care of I'm gonna copy that let's copy it from here and that will be for new new game new game command equals new game so those two are taken care of let's run it and see save and run so whatever we have in here reset that's cool now let's see what's gonna happen with this guy we need to change this first and there we go that's fine everything is working now we need to add some logic okay the whole interface is ready reset and new game is ready so all we then need to do is logic to play the game itself Okay, we are able to get x or zero on the buttons so we now need to validate 
the selection made by the player so let's have a go at taking care of that so in that case this would have been the winner but there's nothing there so what I'm going to do is to write another function entirely that will take care of that okay right underneath here what is left to you you can do it you can write it here but I'm just gonna is that very function underneath here it's going to be a little bit long so I will call it score keeper right that's my score keeper there and you see this score keeper I'm gonna call them in here as well but first thing first let's take care of the very first one use an if statement if button one it's going to be a lot of copy and pasting if button one and the text value on button one equals x so let's say if it's equals x paste that in here I'm going to put a speech mark here another speech mark here equals equals x and button 2 the same copy use and button 2 it's giving me the same and button 3 copy that and paste that in there change that to 3 there I will now change the background color for those three. Let's copy all of this and just come right down here. So if that is the case, the background color, we just want it to change. Select it all, hold on to the shift and tap. Okay, that's fine. So background color in this case, I'm gonna make it powdered blue. There, copy that paste and paste now let's do a little bit of calculation n equals float whatever value we have inside player x dot get so now another local variables call equals n plus one there and player x now let's add the value inside score into player x and that is that taken care of now we also need the message box click enter dot message dot message box I like you to output the following message show info and that message will be winner X let's enter X X there okay so that would be the title winner X is the title and we can just add message you have just won a game there we go close that so that's the very first one taken care of okay now supposing we have this so let's if we have zeros so I'm gonna put that in there and call the function inside our function okay but first and first I want button one two and three to win so i'm going to save and run and try that out okay oh that's zero so clear that we want it to be x there there we go x all right 
x as 1 we have one error in there oh look that's wrong so that is there's no r there where is it where's the information yeah get rid of that r yeah that was why i did not get my message box try it again you just have to be careful yeah there we go that's fine we have number one no reset yeah yeah that's fine okay that is for number one so i'm just gonna copy that and use it for number three copy paste for number three you see it's exactly the same thing guys so all i'm just doing now is changing the numbers that is going to be one two three then we can talk about four five and six according to the arrangement then this one will be four five and six as well four five six right and we can change the color let's change this color to maybe red red and this is red okay save and try this out no I just want to try this yeah that's fine reset yeah that's cool alright so now that we know it's working all I'm just going to do now is to copy and speed up the whole process copy speed it up all right guys i've copied all of the if statements and let me just show it to you guys now first buttons then we have four five and six we have seven eight nine then we have three five seven diagonally and just have a look at the rest that's for all of the x there now the next one is for the zeros or for the O's. There we go. Letter O. Have a good look at it. You can always pause your video. Once you can type one out, then you should be able to take care of the rest. Dead. And that's it. That's how you create your own TikTok tool, an advanced one actually. In Python. I want to take this up so that you see it's right from the top. Take it from the top. Now bring it right down. Now another one. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I'm going to run the program now. And let's see how it all works. There, let's go to run. There we go, guys. Yeah, the red is winning. That's good. Now, let's see. We have one one. Two one reset yeah reset it all start all over there there so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy please do subscribe and you can always join to be a member of my channel you all have a nice day now. Bye for now.